Welcome to Viavi Solutions Certifier User Training, Lesson 2, Instrument Basics, General Use and System Settings. By the end of this session, you will be able to configure system settings, calibrate the touchscreen, configure project settings, and manage results on the certifier. The certifier has a touchscreen interface that can be operated by the attached stylus or other pointing devices. Although the touchscreen is made out of a strong polycarbonate material, you should never use a sharp instrument such as a screwdriver or pen on the touchscreen as this may cause damage or scratches. There are four hard keys at the bottom of the screen. Auto test, setup, data, and tools. Main setup screen. The certifier always launches to the setup screen. However, this screen can always be reached by pressing the setup hard key. System settings and project settings will always be the same, regardless of the modules attached. However, test settings and quick setup will vary based on the module attached. Copper is currently being shown. System settings. To adjust system settings, click the arrow next to system settings. There are two tabs of system settings available, system settings one and system settings two. System settings one, length unit. You can choose between feet or meters. Plot y-axis direction. This changes the direction in which copper plots will be displayed, above the x-axis or below the x-axis. Sleep interval allows you to set how many minutes the certifier screen will stay on before turning off to save power. Auto power off. This allows you to set how long the certifier will stay on before shutting off to save power if left idle. Audio settings. This allows you to turn on and off various audio features and adjust the overall volume. Settings 2. Date and time. This allows you to choose different formats for displaying time and date. There are 17 languages available on the certifier. Clicking on the storage tab displays the current amount of storage space available on the internal and any attached USB storage devices. The battery tab will show you the current battery level. If the local and remote unit are connected, you will also be able to view the status of the remote unit. Tapping on Restore Factory Defaults will prompt you to restore the unit to factory defaults. This will erase all of your settings. Calibrating the touch screen. Perform a calibration every time you upgrade the firmware. Push the Setup Hard key. Go to System Settings, Settings 2, Touch Screen Calibration. Follow the crosshairs around the screen using the attached stylus. Once you've clicked on all of the crosshairs, you must tap the screen to register the new calibration. Touch the screen one final time before the counter reaches zero seconds in order to save the new calibration. Project Settings The Project Settings screen is where you're able to set up projects that you're going to be testing on. There are several options available for customizing your project settings. Site is the area that you enter the site you're currently testing at, for example, ABC Industries. Operator allows you to identify the technician who's conducting the tests. This is important if any questions regarding the test results come up. The operator's name will be associated with each test recorded. Label Source. This allows you to set up the labeling format be used for your tests. Labeling is covered in detail in Lesson 4. Auto Save. If enabled, the certifier will automatically save every passing result with the current label source format. Next Label. This shows the name of the next label for the current label source format. Managing Sites. Tapping the arrow next to Site under Project Settings will allow you to add, edit, or delete current sites. Pressing the plus icon will allow you to add a new site. Selecting a current site allows the site's details to be edited. Tapping the gear icon will allow you to delete sites. Test data management. Results are stored on the certifier by site. Results are also imported into JReporter by site. 
there is a default unspecified site that cannot be deleted or modified. The data hard key allows for site-based management and viewing of stored results. Pressing the data hard key brings up the data screen and shows stored results for the current site. Results can be sorted by any of the column headers, such as pass fail, limit, label, and time of test. Individual results can be edited to change the label name, deleted, or viewed. Additional help resources are available on the unit. Press the tools hard key, then tap the about us icon. Thanks for watching.